I've been leeching other creators' slide preset packs, but enough was enough. I decided to create my own slide preset pack. I present to you... So yeah guys, as you just saw, I released a slide preset pack. And for the people who already know how presets work, link is in the description, go ahead and download it. But for the people who don't know how they work, let me give you a short walkthrough of how you can use these slide transitions in your projects. Let's go. The first thing you should do is navigate to this link in the description where you will arrive at this OneDrive, Julius Sorens and Smooth Slide Transition versions 1. And you want to download this file just by clicking it right clicking and download. Next up you want to go down here, click show in folder. So you know it's downloaded and this one is just saved to my downloads. So now I'm here in my Premiere and what you want to do to get the presets into your Premiere is go over here to your effects, right click presets, import presets and double click the preset, uh, preset file. And now it should be located here under presets, Julius Sarans and the Smooth Slice version 1. And there are a few things we can choose between, like color offset slides, regular slides, and text slides. And I will showcase how they work and how they should be used. So I have prepared in my timeline just a few, a few clips, but they all work on adjustable layers. This is pretty important to know. So the first thing we do is go re enter project, right click new item adjustable layer, and hit OK, like so. So I think first we should showcase a regular slide. And basically what this numbers means, if it's to the left, it means before the cut and these ones are after the cut and this isn't frame. So this means seven frames before, 17 frames after. So let's drag this preset here. So let's do maybe slide down and that says 714. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a quick way to do this is by holding down shift and pressing left once, that's five frames, and then two like so. And just drag that. And then go back to the middle of the clip again, and then we want to go 14 frames to the right. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, that's 15, and then one to the left. And then cut the adjustment layer like so. And just add this, this one on top of the adjustment layer. And quick like that, we have a slide, uh, slide down. As you can see, take a look easy as that and let's maybe try one of these which are 717 so i'm gonna apply an adjustment layer again and go seven to the left and one two three fifteen and then seventeen and let's maybe do top left bottom right apply that to adjustment layer and just like that we have a slide Next up, I want to showcase two of the color offsets, and these are basically just slide transitions with a color split in them. So let's do a slide right. <coughs> I am going seven frames to the left, like so, applying my adjustment layer, and 14 frames to the right, like so. And I am gonna apply the slide right. And just like that. We have a slide by transition. And let's maybe also do one of the other ones with different frames. So again, seven frames to the right. And one, two, three, one, two. To the left, like so. I'm gonna do bottom, bottom left, top right. Yeah, take a look. So these are the four we just applied. Very nice. So now you might ask, does this work on text as well? Just for the text. If I wanted this text to slide in or out or whatever, does this work? Well, let's try. We have a problem here. So there's no one for the start of a clip, right? Let's just try applying 21 frames, like uh, 
like these transitions would be. So let's try out applying a slide ride. So it kind of works, right? But the background is sliding. But what I've actually done is I've prepared some specific ones for text just to make it that much more smooth. So navigate to the folder called text slide under the presets. And here there will always be a slide in, a slide out and a slide over, meaning between two text clips. So let's try applying the slide in as 10 frames. Slide down in. But as you can see, it's actually the same problem. The same problem. This is even worse. But the way we fix this is just simply by selecting the adjustment layer and the text, right clicking and the nest like so. And now it will be just the text. So smooth. So what if you want this, how, titles, work to like transition. So this is a over, what I call an over, this cut here, and this is an over, and here is out. So we want one in, two overs, and one out. So I am gonna look what the over is, it's 714. So I'm applying that, one, seven. And then one, two, three, and one back, 14. And that is slide down over. And then I am going to, one, two, three, just my layer like so. One, two, three, seven, 14. And then let's do slide right over, uh, something like that, slide left over maybe. Then let's do and out is 15. So one, two, three. This is gonna be very tight, but it is what it is. Maybe let's just move it a little bit like so. Here maybe. And let's do slide up out. So we have all these now. And it looks a little bit funky, but this all just gets fixed by selecting all of it and nesting it as before. And now we'll have this beautiful six lights. Wow. But anyways, guys, that was all I had for this video. And as before mentioned, there is a download link in the description down below. So go ahead and download these presets and have some fun with them. If uh, in any way I help you or you downloaded my transitions, please like, comment and subscribe. But anyways, see you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye.